I look good. Like, oh. do you need a look at the mirror? Oh my god. <laughs> I think this is what people see when they watch me on YouTube. This is why everybody thinks it was <coughs> Alright. Can't gang look at rigorous. My champagne, but I'm rigorous. My campaign, look at rigorous. Whole team, hella rigorous. Lifestyle so rigorous. Hairstyle so rigorous. Your top five ain't rigorous. If you left out this rigorous. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Sibum Banza. Today we're with the OG. Foyen is back. Foyen is back in my life. I actually need her to move to Joburg full time. That's what I need. When are you Pay moving? For it? When are you moving to Joburg full time? Don't ask me questions. Okay. Today we're doing a uh, a makeup video. Um. So in the link in the description, you will find her video where I did her makeup. And we we get some answers as to why I look like this. Yeah. You will you will understand. This is not how she came here. Shame. If you guys are wondering, <laughs> this is not how she she knows but how to. This is makeup. not how I look on a regular day, guys. Yeah. I promise you, I'm a beauty YouTuber who yeah. does better than this. She knows what she's doing. I know a bit more about what I'm doing. <laughs> so click in the link in the description below if you want to go watch that video. Please. Do Go watch that video and also subscribe to Foyn. Subscribe, go subscribe. subscribe. I'm telling you now. If you like makeup, if you like laughing, if you just like enjoying yourself, go subscribe to that YouTube channel. Please! <laughs> Alright, so she's going to do my makeup today. Um, I love getting my makeup done, I won't even lie. The only reason I don't wear makeup on a regular basis is because I feel like it's a bit expensive. Yes, it's a um, lot of work as well. And if I have to choose, like, on, exactly, and if I have to choose between, like, you know, PlayStation game versus makeup. Pressing, pressing versus Versus painting. doing all this. Act and also, this takes, I feel like, a lot more skill than what I do, you know. So it's You just, said it, not me. No, I, I, 100%. I yeah. have so it much It takes experience. a lot more skill to do makeup than to, like, play, press a DVD. Then to casually, like, then to casually play games, not competitively. To pressing, casually. pressing on a computer game. Ooh, um, you know? I hope you guys drag Playing about DVD. Please drag. <laughs> a TV game. Yo, I hate it when people are trying to call PlayStation mm -hmm. a TV game. You know? Um, so, yeah, she's going to put some makeup on me now. I love makeup. I love wearing makeup. Um, the only other thing is also like my skin. I'm very careful yes. about it. You have somehow managed to ha keep great skin, even though you, you, have, to, you have to put constantly. the effort in to keep the skin, especially with the amount of makeup and the frequency of yeah. makeup that we wear. So I've I've had to make the investment into my skin because yeah. it's my money maker. Also, do you ever have times where I know Busha likes to like let her skin? Oh, uh, I don't wear makeup like at all. Okay. Like okay, I hear I, I use reasons to get mm -hmm. ready. I don't just wear makeup every yeah. single day because I'm also a lazy gal. Okay. I fair. love my craft, but yeah. I also like to sleep in. I hear you, hundred percent. So. She's about to turn me into a slay queen, slay queen Cebu. Um, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Shall we just do this? Let's do it. Let's do it. When I flew to this city, mm -hmm. I didn't know this was happening. Mm. So I didn't bring my kit. Okay. I didn't bring my foundation shades. I only brought enough options for me. Yes. So we're going to see if y the girl can like mix and match. Maybe this should just be turning me into you. But then, even still, we are not the same in complexion. You fair, know what I'm saying? Fair, so I'm just saying like, I'm going to have to do some artistic licensing. Mm -hmm. So bear with me. Bear with But us. I'm pretty sure the rest of it we're gonna make it work. I'm excited. So let's start off with just a, a healthy spritz. Just to like mm. put that there. Mm -hmm. And then like, let's just press that yeah. into your skin. Mm -hmm. Lovey dovey, lovey mm. dovey. Wonderful. Then we're gonna take this Revlon Rose Glow Hydrating and Illuminating Primer. Okay, it's hydrating. We love hydration. Everyone is, needs to be hydrated. Is it just for people with um, dry skin or do you feel like everybody should Oh, be? darling. Everybody okay. needs hydration. Even the people with oily skin, you okay. need hydration. Why? Because oftentimes your oily skin is not oil. It's actually just dehydration. And when your skin doesn't have enough moisture, it tries to like force that mm -hmm. by producing oh, okay. oil. Yo, sometimes I get so much oil on my nose, I'm surprised America doesn't brush through my door. You know? Okay, so now... I'm gonna take some creative license mm -hmm. and I'm gonna use this Makeup Revolution Concealer in the shade C18. Ooh. And I'm gonna take my foundation shade in the shade F15 and we're gonna mix that together to try and find a happy medium. Please tell me about how you started wearing makeup. Was it ever a taboo? Because I know black moms are very. Yeah, my mom about. hated it. Like, mm. She hated it. I mm. loved makeup. I love the allure of glitz and glamour. Mm. I love like shimmery eyeshadow and she was just like nah. Especially in high school when my friends started wearing like bags. That's what I was gonna like, ask. Was it like TV or was it school friends who got you? Well like, like school obviously gave me a little bit of FOMO. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then like but my mom was like no, I want you to protect your skin. You've got really good skin. Mm -hmm. I also don't want you to feel dependent on it. Got you. So like some people I know like they literally cannot step out of the house without makeup. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whereas I'm very very comfortable with people seeing me in mm -hmm. my absolute cleanest form because that's the form I'm in most of the time. Yeah. 
So that definitely was, in hindsight, something I was very appreciative of. Mm. But like, it was quite frustrating because I only bought my first foundation when I, when I went to Varsity. Serious? Yeah, like I came to Varsity with a tiny little yeah. compact pouch mm. with a Chinatown eyeshadow palette. Blush I stole from my mom from MAC, You're raisin, joke best bird, shade girl. ever. <laughs> um, with like a tinted moisturizer until yeah. my mom bought me a foundation. Mm. Um, and... Yeah, like half of her empty concealer. And then what, four years later? Four years, ooh, guys. Yeah. In second year, that's when I really got super, super into it because I was a fashion blogger. Yes. Steve used to take my pictures. Well, we'll get there, we'll get there. That's I still what, want to talk about that. That's what we used to do. And then I realized fashion blogging, especially as a student, is expensive. It's yeah. It's not realistic. Mm. And then I started getting really into beauty mm. and I, it was something I, I could film in my res room. Yeah. And it was like, Things I could buy from Discam. And then I was like, you know what? I want to make a little bit extra coin. Mm. Um, especially after I went to Nigeria and I visited um, my cousins and stuff because she was getting married and mm. we had a makeup artist come and do makeup. And I was just like, ooh, I look good. Yeah. I like this feeling. I mm. like this look. I kind of want to be able to do that for other people. Yeah. So then that's pretty much what kickstarted it. 2017 in the beginning of the year, I went to Lagos. I did a makeup course that helped me stock up a lot of my kit mm. and the rest as they say is history. history. We are here now. For those people that don't know, we've known each other since 2015. 15? Yeah, 2015. Um, we're both at UCT struggling there. Hey man, in some, some struggling more than others, yeah. um, <laughs> but struggling nonetheless. And I think um, everybody was just kind of looking for like creative outlets. I think a lot of the creative kids um, studying degrees that might not necessarily be creative we're looking for outlets and yes. also just cash dude that um, too and I had started my YouTube channel in 2014 and so I had a camera and I started taking pictures and people took notice to be honest with you they really weren't that great of pictures but I really just enjoyed it um, and if they weren't that great I truly wouldn't have messaged him exactly, you know, you know like it looked like you could get the fashion vlogger mm, aesthetic mm. and I was like we can work with this I was actually looking at my Instagram and I still have pictures of you that I posted on my Instagram I saw pictures 2015. that you took Instagram. Wowzers, we look so different back then. I was so skinny. Uh, so then what was the idea from the beginning of starting a fashion blog? Because I can tell you, I wanted to do it too. I just knew I didn't have the range. But also for me, I think it was coming from a, sorry, from a FOMO perspective. Everybody was starting fashion blogs. At the time, I was um, best friends with Sia Beile, who was mm. one of the, like, the biggest at the time. Yeah. So I had huge FOMO for fashion, but I never went into it. So why did you decide... You know what, I'm gonna get into Well, I had actually had my blog since like basically the entire of mm, high school. Mm. Like I have always been a blogger in one, yeah. shape, one way, shape or form. Mm, you know, mm. that's always something that I've done. Yeah. Um, and I always thought like moving to Cape Town would be the one thing that puts me on mm, the map. I've got mm. the colorful walls at Book Club. Gotcha. I've got like the streets, everyone's yeah. got wall paintings because we were super into that at the time. Yeah. So I was like, this is gonna be the thing that helps like elevate my career yeah um but then like i quickly found that it's very hard to like i'm also very kind hard. of shy mm -hmm. so like you need a lot of like or not, like you need absolutely no scar yeah when yeah. you're Honestly, a youtuber all of you need you have to have to. like the ability to just Go out there and take your pictures in front of people's houses in the middle of the street and honestly and not like, feel dude, yeah. worried or stressed that people are looking at you, you know what I'm saying? Me and I had that we have we have that conversation so often where it's like some of the most successful bloggers, YouTubers, creatives are the people with no scam whatsoever. Yeah, you have if you to. don't have scam, I promise you, you'll be so you can successful. Do anything yeah. Because you'll get all the footage. Mm -hmm. You know, you won't be ashamed to bring your camera out exactly. and everything. You will ask people to take yes. your picture and yeah. stuff like that. Like, but I was always too shy to do that so yeah. I missed out on a lot of opportunities mm. but then I was just like okay everyone was like collaborate 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 but mm. I was always nervous because I believe that like people should be paid yeah gotcha. like I've always believed that and I was mm. like if I can't afford to pay people I don't feel good asking them to do things that yeah. I wouldn't do like for free got you you know so um the first shoot we did was like kind of like trade exchange mm. and then it was like okay we can make an arrangement out of this yeah. at an affordable rates and I was like cool yeah. I can pay this monthly yeah. and then I will always have content yeah so then that's kind of like what we did and that worked mm -hmm. very well. It did. Like, it, it did. always gave me a can I Can I tell you guys? <laughs> so, back then, I was in like a, a long distance relationship. My girlfriend at the time had moved. Oh, yeah. To, yeah, my girlfriend at the time had moved to uh, Bloom to study. 
um, and I used to want to visit her but I had no job and that's why I actually started the photography so I could make money to get into like a greyhound and go um, and that's literally what we did I she paid me I took the photos then I could go visit my girlfriend at the time and you know what I was happy I was happy as it well worked out. It but worked like out. honestly in a student budget especially mm. because if I'm struggling to get paid work now, do you yeah. imagine how much worse it was True. three, four years True. ago? You know what I'm saying? So like it also just became like financially unsustainable, yeah. but then also fees me for everything life happened. True. Um, and then also I started a YouTube channel mm. and moving into like different content spaces yeah. and that's kind of, and then he moved. I did. He moved. I, I dropped out and I left, he guys. He moved. Randomly, so, eh? There's also that. So mm. I was just like, how? Who's going to I take my pictures <laughs> but it was fun dude it was fun how are you finding how are you finding youtube in general and then also make up youtube um because i feel like there are a lot of misconceptions about beauty youtube i think the biggest misconception is that like content makes itself mm -hmm. and then also that people still care a lot about tutorials mm. like one thing i've realized from the youtube space in general is that people like to watch people yeah and that's even something I've learned about Instagram is mm -hmm. like they care about a person and then they'll invest heavily in the person gotcha. Whether or not you are constantly posting like valuable yeah. content teaching them skills mm -hmm. teaching them things It's largely irrelevant like people like entertainment people yeah. like vlogs people like challenges people like couple channels mm -hmm. You know so people think like oh I'm gonna make I like makeup I'm gonna do a makeup YouTube channel where yeah, I just create tutorials yeah. and watch my looks yeah but that's actually not enough mm. like you have to be quite a well-rounded youtuber mm -hmm. who focuses on beauty and does beauty content but that can't be your bread and butter gotcha. and there's also so much work that goes into it like so many people think it's just like full my makeup yeah. done. done like I feel like you guys have that. some of the most tea not and we have to make content and we also just have content, so many but, chirpers yeah bro. <laughs> Yo, everyone are rasa. Hey, listen, people have a they lot chirp. to say, a lot, and it bothers me so much. So when I started YouTube in 2014, everybody who was successful was doing like it was all these like pretty white guys mm -hmm. who were making like fluff content for pretty white girls. Oh yeah, for like high school white girls. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, about Casper the, Lee exactly. Um, and I thought I had to be like them in order to make it on YouTube So yeah. if you go back to my first videos, it's very much like me trying to be funny And some people found it funny and it was it was kind of fun to make but You can't I do it forever I couldn't do it forever and I honestly didn't enjoy it the longer I was doing it um, And then I think when it got to the current affairs side of things when Rhodes Must Fall happened on campus mm. That's when I was like This is my thing This is my thing like the content is making itself <gasps> Are you doing that thing? Mm -hmm. Yes. My eyebrows are going to be so defined. I mean, yes, brows. I always confuse lashes and brows. Mm -hmm. I'm so old to be doing that. Um, tell me the weirdest things that you've experienced while doing other people's makeup. Um, or just like horrible experiences. The one thing I can tell you mm. is that I don't like doing brides. Okay. They stress me out way too much. Because they're stressed also on top. Yeah, like I feel like the energy from bride. Like I love doing bridesmaids, mm -hmm. bridal parties, yeah. but brides stress me out. Okay. And the one thing I hate is aunties. Okay, okay. Because aunties feel like you're doing a favor. And because they're older, they can ask you for whatever. Uh, yes. And oh, please, can you just quickly do my mm. brows? And it's like, no, no, not nothing is just quick. No. And also, you're not paying me. Mm. I want. I had a graduation at UCT mm. and my SD card stopped working. Oh no. Do you know when it stopped working? In the middle. When I was about to take the first picture. Every family standing there, the, the woman I was taking pictures of, her grandmother, everybody. And as I take the first picture, my memory card says some Ooh. error. You can't format nothing. You know, I, I, you, you know me and not believing in uh, Christianity, but in that moment, my sister. <laughs> Do you know oh, who I am? They fire, fire, fire. You. Yo, I was like... Casting prayers up to the ground. And I literally looked at... And I acted like I'm looking at the lighting. So I was like, just give me two seconds. And I look and it says error. And I try to take a picture of like the ground quickly. Error. And I'm like, what the fuck do I do? Like, what do I do? And somehow something rang in my head and it said, Sibu, you left one of your SD cards the one day at the radio station. <gasps> and I was like, two seconds, I think there's something wrong, I'm going to go get another. And they were like, completely fine. Yeah. I ran to the radio station and it wasn't there. Oh my God, <laughs> I thought this was going to be a happy ending. <laughs> and it wasn't there. And I was like, 
I swear I left one here. Like the type of thing where I was editing like a YouTube video and I never took the SD card like out of the, I used the, the Mac at the radio yeah. station. And I was like, I swear, I've even been thinking, Sibu, you need to take this home. Turns out somebody took it out and kept it to keep it safe. It was in the office. And I, and as I was about to walk out, they were like, what is you looking for? And I'm like, oh, my SD card. They were like, oh, I've been keeping it Woo! safe for you. See God. Bro, I wow. swear. That was the moment where I was like, maybe. maybe. See, bro. <laughs> Points were made. You looked Points up. Points were made. And things worked out. Correlation says. But yeah, that's the thing. Working with people is tough. It's a risk. You have a very tough Because some people job. can be annoying. Exactly. Some people can be rude. Some people can be problematic because people like to chop. I mean, that's the thing. Somebody's so, sitting here like, yes, le patriarchy. I, I don't think that and you need to work, but this person's going in. And they want chops, bro. Uh, and you're actually just like, And then oh. they ask you for your opinion. And your opinion completely polarizes theirs. How was it seeing someone you know, I'm talking about myself here, go from... 2016 Sibu to like Joburg Sibu. Um, was it weird? It was weird, but I was never like sad or mm -hmm. bitter. Like, I was like, I miss my friend. No, I didn't expect it. But I was just like, I am so happy everything is working out. <laughs> yeah. Like, I was really, really, really proud because mm -hmm. I know that the amount of work and like the amount of like stress and things that you went through in mm -hmm. Cape Town in 2016, like yeah. even with your family and your yeah. car to stay in res. And wow, you remember like, all I that? I remember. Dude. And like all of the, the sacrifices you made and stuff. So I'm like, to see it all pay off yeah. was just like, wow, thank goodness. I don't have people in Joburg who understand that side of me yeah that home side and like how like how bad things truly were yeah um because like i was just so glad like because yeah. you didn't come to joe work and get a job and then just succeed like that you yeah. suck it through True. like you're still doing youtube you're still able to take care of yourself like and take care of your family like and it just makes my heart beam i can't believe you remember that of dude. course darling that's wild that is why. That's why every time you celebrate a win, like I yeah. am screaming ten times louder. Because like many people remember, but it's like I remember. You I was there. You were like, there. Was you were there. in it. I used I to saw. talk to you about the shit. Ah oh, man. Like I was just like there, there was like a reason for Your my home. jubilation because I saw what it took to get there. I used to drive for in in my Toyota Corolla, my nineteen eighty nine Toyota Corolla. Um, it was automatic, which is pretty cool. At least. At least. Um, but yo, eh. I used to put 20 Rand petrol in that car, dude. Dude. Mm, 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 mm. Is that the smell? That smells good. Yeah. It's Revlon lip oil. Mm. It smells delish. Can I smack your lips together? And then let's set your face. Mm. And let's fix your face. <laughs> And I still forgot my fan over there, so, <laughs> so let's good. just pray we don't smack you in the face with this. Mm, 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 please. I'm <laughs> actually terrified. So <laughs> We're done. We're done. We're done. Okay, so I obviously can't, can't see, see anything, anything. So, um, but I feel like I look cute. I, I can, I can low-key see and I think, you look I, think I look cute amazing. as hell. Oh my goodness. <laughs> B, do you want to come see? Come see on camera. No, people need to see your reaction. What do you think? Hi, guys. I'm getting my hair done. Um, you, look, <laughs> you look snatched. Thanks, I babe. love this shirt. Sis, is this you? This is me. This is you. Love uh, this A queen. Oh, oh, I love this. Book Boy, hair. I need to take it. Book Actually, hair. I love to see it. Book hair. Yo, with my wait, let me just reverse bit of LIGO on my hand now. The Amen. foundation. Sims, you look it. so good. Lash me, baby. <laughs> Lash me. What are the kids saying? The kids the are saying, saying your boy is cute. Your Woo! boy is cute. Also, do you see the Lash Me Babies? Shout out to the TG gang, man. You hey. know what I'm saying. Also, my makeup Come artist through. is amazing. She's Whereas one of those things. here, yeah, the situation's a bit different. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, looking closer now, it's at least a three. Wow. Those brows are Please very, uh... Please go. Get out of here. They're very thin. Get out of so, here. So, as you can see, we have clearly a very different skill set. We do. <laughs> um, that's a five. This is like a five and a half. Yes, that's um, exactly what that is. No, but this is great. Let me, let me get close. <laughs> wow! I look good. Like, oh. do you need a look at the mirror? Oh my God! 
<laughs> I think this is what people see when they watch me on YouTube. This is why everybody thinks it was <coughs> all right. So, <laughs> Redacted. This is a red. What, dude? Like I always knew you were good at what you do, oh, but damn, darling, don't oh. cast me so much. What? I look amazing. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Dude, I, th I honestly, I thought it was going to be one of those things where I'm like, okay, I look good. Like, uh, this is a funny joke, but I look good. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You cute. Wow. Nigga, cute. Book her. <laughs> I'm going to put her email address in the link in the description. Book her. If you live in Cape Town and you're looking for a makeup artist, and actually most of you guys are in Cape Town. How weird is that? Four years later, most still. of my YouTube channel is still Cape Town. Book her. Wow. We tried, we tried. We aim to please. We aim to please. Darling. Shots. All right. Love wow. to see it. Wow. Thank you so much, friend. You're also, welcome. Thank you for the chat. It was really fun. Of course. It's I always nice them. to catch up with the Wow. Babes. Wow. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Subscribe. And let me know also in the comment section below what you think of this look. I Listen. think I look And what do you think of my look? What do you think of my look? What do you think of my look? Ask him, who, who did a better job? Thank you. Vote it's below. It's me. Vote. Um, please make sure you don't forget to subscribe to her channel. Um, I'll put the link uh, to her channel in the description below. But we'll just end this video here. I really don't want to take this makeup. <laughs> but I have to go to the police station. Anyway. <laughs> you know how hyper-masculine our police are. So I'm not going to do that. You're going to get arrested. I'm going to get arrested. Thank you so much for joining me, friend. I Thank really you for having me. It, it was oh, great to be here. Great to see you guys. All right. Play on your face. I'm taking Man. my lashes back. Yeah, <laughs> Tandy, please, 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 PR package. Send me a PR something Some so that I can gain. That's it. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys very, very soon with another one. Hey. Can't gang looking rigorous. My champagne, but I'm rigorous. My campaign looking rigorous. Whole team hella rigorous. Lifestyle so rigorous. Hairstyle so rigorous. Your top five ain't rigorous. If you left out this rigorous.